Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we're back with Cobra Kai season 1 episode 9 review and this is the penultimate episode, a lot goes down to set up the All Valley Tournament episode in episode 10. Um, so obviously the back end of episode 8 which I didn't actually mention which was uh, Louis destroying Johnny's car and which obviously led to Johnny rocking up at Daniel's house at the start, and they almost start a fight, but it doesn't end up going that way through Amanda telling him to sell this over breakfast. And I forgot we get this one of the first conversations we see between Johnny and uh, Anthony, where he basically calls him a dick, which I think is such a cool scene because obviously that happens in season four as well. And it was cool to see the parallels there. Um, you get, on, you get obviously awkward school scene between Sam and Miguel, the star of the end for their relationship and obviously they avoid each other the entire episode because she is grounded due to Johnny bringing up the fact that she, she crashed into Johnny's car in episode one so that was cool that finally came up this season and that was resolved uh, Robbie helps to get out of the house to go to the party and the Cobras decide to crash that Yasmin was really going to have um, so all that gets heated up and then Aisha gets back, back on Yasmin by giving her a wedgie that was really um Refreshing to see that she got her all back on her and her revenge. Um, Miguel accidentally punched Sam as he went for Robbie. So tension between those three grew. Robbie and Miguel, or Miguel against Robbie because Robbie didn't have anything against Miguel. And obviously Sam just wanted to stay away from Miguel because she finally realised because he was a Cobra, uh, they all turned out to be dicks. But he was just pissed, like drunk. Um, and he was angry as well, so... <laughs> They don't really go well together. Uh, Louis got sacked in this episode. Uh, Moon finally came over to the, I say the good side, but the Cobra side as she was um, as a thing for Hawk. Hawk's turned to a bit of a dick. Um, and obviously that continues for a while. But I do love his development from an awkward kid. There's someone whose confidence has grown so much to getting a haircut, being one of the best students in Cobra Kai, to getting a tattoo, to now landing Moon is pretty cool. Pretty great storyline. Obviously, Dimitri, coolest guy out there. <laughs> I love his character. He's such a brilliant actor, and his awkwardness just makes him that much better. And when he spoke to Yasmin, it's like it's so brilliant to see what's to come from him. But it's just amazing to see how <laughs> weird he is right now. Um, it was really cool to see a bit a few nostalgia things in this episode. We got to see Daniel's old house from Karate Kid One. Um. We got to see, uh, obviously, Johnny and Daniel Bond, which was incredible. They talked about um, their parents, how they had such different back um, backgrounds, how Chris and Miguel um, and Mr. Miyagi were the father figures to them. Uh, and then, obviously, that went backwards when Robbie was at LaRusso's house and Johnny attacked Daniel and then Robbie was attacking Daniel. So it all went sideways and then Daniel ended up taking Robbie out um, due to him for... Uh, he thought Robbie was manipulating him to get back to his back at his dad, which obviously was the original idea. But obviously, over time, he changed his mind and he wanted to learn karate. So a lot happened in this episode. A lot of crazy stuff obviously sets up for the old Valley Tom of obviously Cobra Kai obviously hating um, LaRusso, Johnny not liking LaRusso, uh, Miguel wanting to get back at Robbie, Sam having her issues and much more so anyway, that's it for this episode a huge episode obviously coming up one of the best ones of the series as it's just pure all valley so stay tuned for that subscribe like comment take care for now goodbye